Hello my friends, welcome in. We shall be getting started with Xavier today. I hope everybody's day has been alright. I know mine, I've been busy all morning. I meant to get started a little sooner, but life happens. And welcome into the Rose Garden, everybody. Been a long time. Hope everybody's been well, well, since last night. How are all my friends? Be keeping busy. I know I have been. Everybody's quiet today. Wrong character. Out of habit, I went to her. <laughs> Let's go to Primal. That said, if I get people willing to go today, I might go do some high end. Hmm. Okay, what was I doing here? Where did I leave off? <laughs> I don't remember. What are we doing? Oh, investigating little Alamigo. Hmm, why yes, he, he borrows my father. He said, what? <sighs> I wish I could be a better daughter to him. It's just that... I'm sorry, I shouldn't bother you with family matters, but I am grateful to you for delivering the message. Now then, what brings you here? A masked man? I'm afraid the description doesn't ring any bells, but one of the others here may have seen something. I would recommend you first speak with Gundabold. Gundabald. The leader of the settlement. I must warn you, though, he isn't exactly ac accommodating to outsiders. Who are you? State your business and be quick about it. I'm Xavier. Looking for a masked, ma masked villain, you say? And why should we help you pray? We struggle enough without having to answer to the whims of every outsider. You are not welcome here. Be gone. Hmm.
Bird would like to aid you, aid in your manhunt. Well met, adventurer. I'm Gislebert. Heard of the security, head of security here at Little Alamigo. I heard tell that you had business with Gundelbald. Knowing that bristly old bear, I don't doubt he told you to bugger off. Owing to their hardships, the refugees don't trust anyone but themselves. Not even my men, and I can get some- Hey, Dizzy! Welcome in! How, f how are you doing today? Not even my men, and I can get so much as a word of thanks out of them despite watching the place day and night. Aww. But thanks or no, I try to help my fellow man when I can, and you seem a decent sort. If you tell me what's brought you here, might be as I can lend a hand. On the trail of a masked villain, you say? Hmm. Can't say that. Sounds familiar, but I have men on lookout for Amalja to the south of here. If there's been any suspicious activity, they are like to have seen it. I had a mind to take them each a cup of sweet vanillin tea so as to lift their spirits. If you were to run this errand in my stead, they'd be all the more willing to tell you what they know. Sure. Who the hells are you? I'm trying to conserve energy here, so leave me alone. How about some tea? Would you like some tea? Well, ain't ye considerate. But thanks, friend. What's that? A masked villain hiding among the refugees? Like it's not. Me compatriots as, as live here go about as though they're dead on their feet. Tis near impossible to tell what's on their mind. For all I know, they're all up to no good. Let me down. Angry River. You there. Are you an Amalja? No? Then carry on. Here's some tea for you, sir. Ah, the sophisticated aroma. It has been forever since I had a drop of sweet banalan. I'm going to enjoy this. What? A masked man? Don't know, don't care. Unless he's got dark scaly skin, stands ten forms tall, and has uh, the face of a lizard, then I don't give a murmur's fart. Murmur's fart. Yeah, yeah, Zuku. Shoo, shoo, don't bother me. If the Amalja run o over us, I'm blaming you. For me? You shouldn't have. Sorry. A suspicious masked man. As a matter of fact, I caught a glimpse of someone fitting that description during patrol. Well, I couldn't quite make out whether it was a man or not. What with the mask and hood. 
but I, uh, but assuming it was a he, he was talking with some Alamegans. I assumed he was one of them. Army, huh? Ah, you're back. So, did my lookouts have aught to share with you? Hmm, that doesn't sound like much to go by. If you're to get any information in your investigation, seems to me you'll need the cooperation of the Alamegans. For this, you'll need to win their trust, and that won't be an easy task. So you're determined to press on with your investigation, then I have some advice to offer. As I said before, you won't get far without the Alamegans' trust, and the best way to win their, that trust is to get a compatriot of theirs, someone they respect to vouch for you. Coin does the talking in Old Law, but the Alamegans are bound by something far stronger. If not as tangible, a common purpose. But that purpose is, of course, the liberation of their home from the Garleans. Gundabold's belongings belongs to the Olmegan resistance, so your best bet would be for be someone who's part of the same crew. If you know any well-connected people, you might want to start by asking them. Okay, I will be right back, guys. One second, I have to go grab something.
All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. Okay, off to... Pray return to the waking sands. I got radio silence from so many people. I'm kidding. Dark legend godly. Huh. Interesting. Wait a minute. Oh, not quite. Okay. Sorry. He looked so much for a second like that one guy from the paladin quest that I was like, wait a minute. Is that really... <laughs> Ah, Xavier. Pray do not concern yourself with my wealth. My current investigation has yielded some curious results. At present, I am pondering how best to proceed. soon to discuss a matter of great import. Abba thinks it's about my first official mission. I suppose it would be good if it was, yes? I mean, I'm not sure if I'm ready, but still. Look, Moraxia, I really, th I realize that this makes no sense to you, but you must try to be more discreet. Years ago, a law was enacted in Old Da whereby. Please just trust me and stay out of sight. How fair is the investigation? I see. Given all that they have suffered, it is a little wonder the Alamican refugees have lost faith in their fellow man. They have had their homeland taken from them and for the past two decades have had to see it remain in the enemy clutches. To compound matters, none of the three city-states have the means to take in all those who were displaced. As a result, a great many Alamegans now live in, on the margins of society, suffering poverty and discrimination. Would that more could be done to see ease their hardships? I fear that nothing short of reclaiming their homeland would be a lasting solution. Let us deal with one problem at a time. Returning to the matter of your investigation, it just so happens there is an Alamegan native among the Scions. I should be pleased to introduce you to him. Him to you. Mithilina wants to introduce you to an Alamegan member of the Scions. Your Alamegan comrade is Hari Barrett. He joined our cause in the hopes that he might find a way to liberate his homeland. 
While he spares no effort toward the endeavor, I have no doubt that he would be glad to assist you. If I recall correctly, Harry Behertz is currently between missions. Try, and lo try looking for him in the storage area. If it isn't Xavier non Galvis, the Scion's rising star, is there aught I can do for you? You wish to win the trust of the people of Little Alamigo? That is a daunting task, my friend, even for our own countrymen. I would like nothing more than to help, but I'm afraid my name no longer carries weight with that lot. I used to be a member of the Alamigo Resistance, you see, but I left in favor of joining the Scion. Though my Alamigo may- my allegiance may have shifted, my purpose remains ever the same, the liberation of Alamigo, yet whatever re my reasons were, I abandoned my comrades, and they'll have nothing to do with me. Now, while I may have no fr more friends in the Resistance, know someone who does. Her name is Albreda, and she is currently- she is a resident in Quarrymel. Say my name when you meet her, and she won't lead you astray. You say that? Maybe I should switch it to Sunday, because then I might get more people to actually want to join me. On that. And do my alt stuff on Saturdays. We'll see. Eh, you want me to introduce you to the resistance? Ha! <laughs> Why the hell should I do that? Give me just one reason. Uh, but since you... Grrr, that worthless, worthless horse. He abandoned his comrades, his woman, and now he has the gall to ask me for a favor? Simply incredible. I just... I mean... Ugh. Realize, Harry, but was only doing what he felt was right. He's a good man, and if he trusts you, then that's all I need to know. You see that bloke there? Mephred? A captain of the resistance. I hope he can give you what you need. food I just realized. That would be helpful right about now, don't you think? Maybe. Mefred! Mefred needs help tending a wounded brother. Ow, I just popped my back. 
Hi, I'm Mefred, a proud man of the Alamegan Resistance. What business do you have with me, adventurer? C Captain, it's Galleon, sir. His wounds gone and festered, and he's burning up. I don't think he's got much time. God damn it, I asked the villagers for aid, got on my knees and begged, but they've refused to lift a finger. If Galleon dies, his blood is on their hands. These quarry mill caverns that would turn a blind eye or Carvens would turn a blind eye to our plight, but they might listen to Alberta. I fear my anger will prevent me from rightly convincing anyone at the moment. I realize we scarce know each other, but this is a matter of life and death. Please adventure, go to her and try. Of course. Sure. If it will help. One of Mephred's in bad shape, you say? I'm, s I'm sorry, but there is not I can do. I want to help, truly I do. They're my countrymen, after all, but that mean going against the elementals will. I've been at Quarry Mill long enough to know how right terrible the beings can be. I couldn't forgive myself if everyone gets banished because of me. If there's anyone who can help, it'd be Charlene, the Hamlet's resident hearer. If you take the matter to her, might be as she'll listen, though I wouldn't get my hopes up. You wish to aid the Alamegans? You are possessed of a kind heart adventure, but I'm afraid I have not the authority to grant you your wish. This authority belongs only to the elementals, eternal guardians of the Twelveswood. All outsiders, be they babes at the breast of the men grown, are judged if of a night whether they may have a place beneath the boughs. Alas, Alamegans' petitions have been denied. Hush, though it may seem, they do not have leave to receive the wood's bounty. Ever has it been since time immemorial. Never shall it be. Hey, Ash, welcome in. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> I love that name. That's a good one. How are you doing, Ash? I'm doing all right. That's how it be, then. The bloody hero might as well ha kill Galleon herself. Spite on the elemental. Spit on the elementals. Spit on their bloody will. I cannot wait until the resistance is free of this place. You're gonna have to wait a little bit. Mefford needs your help to save a wounded comrade. Uh, Nico Farter. Oh my god. I led my men to Quarry Will Mill hoping to find refuge. Instead, we found indifference. The cold blooded bastards here want us out. And I can't oblige them soon enough. The problem is, some of mine aren't fit to travel. Hell's Galleon can't even stand. As you well know, the people of this accursed hamlet won't help us. So I have no choice but to turn you to you, adventurer. My homeland. Long antelope in my homeland, long antelope, ho antelope horn is a traditional remedy with poison purging properties. If you could find me, say four horns, I'd forever be in your debt.
I thought, uh... Ginger was on earlier. Yeah, I thought a couple of times about getting rid of it because I don't know how to turn it down. But it's also a nice alert to have when people start talking because then I know people are actually ta talking to me. Oh, you're back. Tell me you've got the whole four got four horns with you. Here you go. All four. You're a godsend, adventurer. Praise Rolger, there's at least one man in this place who gives a damn. Now, we just need to find a way to prepare them. You wouldn't happen to know a man named Buscaron, would you? Some comrades of mine told me about him once. They say they said he never he never turns away folk in need, no matter where they're from. Seeing as he runs a tavern, he's like to have the tools to make the medicine. I'd be grateful if you could take the horns over to him to have them ground down. When that's done, bring the powder back and give it to Farfmund here. God's speed. Wrong direction.
Uh-oh. He's out. He's out! Ah, oh, Xavier, ever a sight for full eyes. How fares the adventure in? Rolling in the coin like there's no tomorrow, no doubt. Hmm? You've got something to show me? Well, these look like a good old antelope horns. Need them ground down to make a medicine, you say? Here's a better idea. I'll give you some of the stuff I have in my stores. I am I'm no stranger to the remedy. An all amigan friend once used it to treat my festering wounds years and years ago. Safe to say he saved my life. What's that? This is for an all amigan soldier in quarry mill? <laughs> So it comes full circle. Well, I hope it helps the poor sword as ne needs it. Oh, and don't worry your little head off about payment. I still owe you a deal more than you owe me, I reckon. I love Buscaron. He's so cool. I wish we got more out of him. I know he's retired from adventuring, but I still wish we could do more with him. It is well to see you return. Have you the medicine for our brother? Here's your medicine. God bless you, adventurer. I'll see that Galleon receives the treatment at once. Hopefully this will allow the captain to rest easier. It has been a terrible burden on him. Trying to keep every man alive. You've done us a great kindness, friend. need your help to find a missing comrade. Uh, adventurer, Galleon has gone missing. He's nowhere to be found. He shouldn't be walking about, not with those wounds. If he doesn't get the proper medicine and rest, his condition like to de his conditions like to deteriorate to where it was before or worse. We need you to help us find him, and quickly. Start by asking Albreda. Might be as the woman's seen something. Ah, finally, it's about time you came asking about Galleon. I watched him leave Quarry Mill some time ago. He left me the sealed letter before he went off. It made me swear not to open it until someone asked, came asking. My brothers, I cannot bear to be a burden any longer. That is why I must leave you all. Do not worry for me. I just, just find your way safely to little Alamigo. <sighs> Blast it! Would that I'd known what he was thinking. I'd have stopped his this fully myself. The love Galleon bears for his brothers is sh so strong, he's willing to sacrifice himself for them. Make no mistake, entering the woods in his weakened state is suicide. guy is over there. I remember that much. I just gotta go talk to somebody first. Odin, I know you're out and about, but please chill out. Mocha weed, what? Out in the wild? Alone? That fool! That great, big, sentimental fool! My men and I will scour the woods for Galleon. Please help us find him before something terrible happens. Before he's eaten by something, you know, like a kid trap or stomped out by Odin. <sighs> oh, 
Watch out! A goblin! A goblin? Really? Galleon. Captain, but why? You should be all you should all be on your way. Who do you take us for? We're all Amigans, and all Amigans never forsake one another. Hardships be damned. Remember that oath the oath we swore, god damn it. The oath to reclaim our homeland. We'll set foot on all Amigan soil again, together, or not at all. Do you understand me? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Let us return to our brothers. Oh, and don't even think that you'll get off so lightly. As soon as you're healed, I give you such a thorough thrashing you'll wish we didn't find you. I can't thank you enough for saving Galleon. I will see you back at Quarry Mill. Galleon's expected to make a full recovery. We'll linger here till he's strong enough to take the, to the road again. As much as I mislike this place, beggars cannot be choosers. Not in there. is going Okay, that one's lower.
My friend wishes to repay your kindness. Now that things are relatively settled, I seem to recall you wanted something from me. You've proved a tr proven a true friend to my people. Ask for of me anything, and it's yours so long as it's mine to give. The cooperation of the people of Little Alamigo. That's all. Far be it from me to question your desire, of course. Very well. I will provide you with a letter to show to Gundabold. The old bear was my mentor when I first joined the resistance. He's intimidating to those who don't know him. But he takes care of his own. I have no doubt that he will do all in his power to aid you. Back to little amigo. Oh my god. Why have you returned? You're not welcome here. I thought I made that clear. Um, something for you. You, you, you spoke with Mefred? It has been so long since I last heard of him, from him. I had feared him dead. Twelve be praised. Whoever you are. Mefred sees you as a friend, and any friend of Mefred is a friend of mine. I know of this masked stranger you seek, and will tell you what I can. An outsider resembling your masked stranger has reportedly been appearing near Little Almigo of late. What's more, it seems that some of our young bloods are meeting him in secret. No doubt you'll want to question them about their choice, but they are not like to yield the information readily to an outsider. If you tell them I sent you, though, they may well help feel obliged to talk to you. A masked man? No idea what you're talking about. I ain't done nothing wrong, so leave me be. Gundabold mm. sent you? I, uh, listen, I told them it was a bad idea. All that tripe about believing the masked man, men in. Oh, y you don't know anything about this. Why didn't you say so to start with? I can't throw the old bear's, you can't throw the old bear's name around like that and expect me to not think I'm in for it. been meeting in any mass men lately? Hmm, let's see. Nope, can't say I have, but I'll be sure to tell any, all my friends that you're looking for him. Why don't I believe you? There's been a bunch of skulk, bunch skulking about outright suspicious like, but I've got nothing to do with him. I know trouble when I see it, and that there, that there is trouble. Mark my words. Mark me words. I can't talk. At all. So you have indeed confirmed my suspicions about a masked man. That is most troubling. Whatever the young ones are scheming, I, it can lead to no good end. There's an anger inside them. I can see it in their eyes. I ought to know, for it once burned within me as well. Two decades ago, 
That same anger drove me and my brothers to rise against the despot who ruled Alamigo. Not would you, but to just depose him and usher in a revolution. Well, we got our revolution all right, but it cost us our freedom. Blinded by our hate, we didn't realize that we had been dancing to the Empire soon. By the time we did, it was too late. Alamigo had fallen. There are two times when a man must be patient. Now is such a time, though the young ones know this not. Unless we intervene, they are like to commit great folly. If you learn aught of their plans, I would thank you to bring word to me. Give me but a moment. Has a secret message for you. Hey, adventurer, you've done you're done talking with the old bear. I've got a message for you from Will Red. That's something of a leader among the young ones here. He's impressed that you've won over Gun Gundobald and wants a word with you. He says he'll be waiting over at the crag area north of here. I have a bad feeling. I wonder why. Down below. Hey, Twilly, welcome in. Boop. first and then I'll go do I have not keep wanting to though and other things. Also, I'm kind of picky when it comes to anime. I don't just watch, I don't watch just anything. If it catches my interest, I'll try, but sometimes things catch my interest and they're not all that great. If you know what I mean. Shinoko. Hmm. Thanks for coming, friend. Tis no ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of the old bear. That's why I wanted to meet you to discuss something in private. Tell me, why are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you or someone else? Carla got your tongue? <laughs> no matter. Whoever it is you work for, your meddling ends here. Get him! I won't let you foil our plan! You're stronger than you look. This changes nothing. Threaten us, beat us, bloody all you like, but nothing short of death can make us give up our fight. We're going to obtain the power to bring down the Empire. With it, we'll reclaim our homeland. Hmm. 
that's a good question. Attacked by Wilbred and his cronies, that they would go to such length for the sake of this plan of theirs. Left to their own devices, young fools are like to harm others, if not themselves. We must uncover their agenda. Put an end to this madness. That's a good question. What's this? Oh, Yuki's gun life. Okay. Will Red mentioned obtaining the power to bring down the Empire. Of what power could he be speaking? Gun, gun the bulb. Uh, I. Lena, gods preserve what happened. I was out foraging when the corpse brigade came. They took me to their hideout and they... They... <laughs> the whole while they laughed at me. <laughs> they said that I suffer because I cling to, on to hope. <laughs> Is it wrong to dream of home? Is it wrong to call ourselves all amigans? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong. I swear to you those villains will answer for their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Wilbred, he saw me outside. He was so angry. I must tend to Bertlina. In the meantime, I need you to find out what the young ones make of this. I fear that they may do something rash. Um, it varies. It's hard to say. I'm not necessarily 100% picky on genre. I like isekai. I like some action. Polaroid ad. <laughs> oh no, Twilly needs to sub to get rid of the ads. Unless, of course, you don't mind the ads. Then that's something different. a minute since I've heard of had actual Polaroid. feeling. Pondo, I know the feeling. Yep, there. If this plan succeed, we'll have the power to lay the Empire low, to change the world for the better. Might be as Gundabold's content to, to eke out an existence in this musty old cave, but I'll be damned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life here. Now, where in the seven hells did I put that bloody map? Mighty Ralgar, Lord of Destruction, we implore you, 
Lend us your strength and put an end to the suffering of your people. Huh. Here to interfere again? Well, you're too late. Our plan is already in motion. Once we have the crystals, our enemies will pay for their crimes. No one will dare oppress us ever again. Uh-oh. I don't like the sounds of that. I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder. Oh. I'm missing one. Oh, it must be down below. Did I miss one down here? Talbot. Oh, wild lot. What those animals did to Bertlina is unforgivable, and to think they look down on us. Well, I'll suffer this humiliation no more. I'm with Wilbur to better the better, bitter end. I'm not afraid of a few lizards. Uh oh. No, don't do it! No! Oh, um, I'll answer right now, sorry, because you were in an ad earlier. I'm into a variety of different uh, anime. I like isekais, I like uh, adventure, I like humor. Uh, comedy, excuse me. Sometimes I'm into romantic, it's all dependent on my mood. I'm not really, s genre I'm not super picky on. It's more of... If the story piques my interest, or if the characters seem to hit... pique my interest, so on and so forth. Not against drama. gone? The whole lot of them? Then it is as I feared. They mean to take matters into their own hands. What exactly is it that they mean to do? Zainan story? Mm, I don't think I've ever heard of it. What's this? A hunting knife and a map of the Z Zenarak? Wait, you said Wilbur had spoke of crystal, did you not? But they could it possibly mean to- By the gods, this is rank madness! The young fools are on train unbloody and unbloodied all. Unbloodied all. They have no notion of how dangerous the Amalja are. They'll be butchered before they get within a hundred yalms of the crystals. They're headed east. If we hurry, we may yet find them before it's too late. Attack on Titan, I've seen a little bit of. I haven't watched it all. Um, Tokyo Ghoul, I don't think I've watched it. I don't remember. Um, I've never watched Death Note, and I definitely haven't watched Chainsaw Man. Oh. Let me do this as the correct class. Wilred, did no others survive? Some shonen I've watched and read. 
this is all wrong. Getting the crystals was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homeland. We were... We... Pull yourself together, lad! We were going to make an offering of crystals to Rogar to summon him. Just... Just like the masked man taught us. We plotted to sneak into Xanarak and make off with the lizard man's cash. But, but they caught us at... So many died. Gods, forgive me. Heathens, you shall pay for your crimes with your souls. I regret our young one's transgressions, but a soul is too high a price for youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of the uh, Alamegan people. This, I hope, will guard my life. This hope I will guard with my life. As will I. <laughs> Time to make these beastmen crawl. Your skill at arms is impressive, adventurer. Our wayward youths could learn much from a man like you. But the battle is won. The battle is won, but it would be unwise to linger here. Let us return to Little Alamigo. Wait, we've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there, right for the picking. Have you learned nothing, Wilred? Did you not see those tempered wretches? Such is the fate of those who are touched by a god. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? What? No. One said anything about the masked man told us we could defeat the Empire. If we summon Rogar, we sh he swore. Enough. I will hear the rest of this sorry tale back in Little Almigo. I dare say Xavier will wish to hear it as well. No more lies, Wilbrun. Tell us everything. I was 
outside with the others when he appeared. The masked stranger. He told us about summoning Rolgar, about using crystals, and then just vanish. We never saw him again. I wanted so desperately to believe that we could raise ourselves up from the squalor that I never stopped to question his motives, but I should have known. There's no solution. Nothing we can do to change our lot. Our people are doomed to live and die like beasts. Listen to me, Wilred. Our home may be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who we are. Oops, skip. It's for you to decide what to make of this legacy. But whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget that you owe it to this adventurer, an outsider. I, I won't. I promise. Thank you for saving me, and I and sorry I tried to kill you. My thanks as well, friend. It gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamico may not have much in the way of comfort, but you will always be welcome here. Thanks for your assistance. Grenbold wants to wish you well on your investigation. Would that we had more information to offer, but what Will Rudd told you is the extent of our knowledge of the Masked Stranger. Left unchecked, that man will bring a, about great pain and suffering. I pray that you'll find and put a swift end to the creature. For the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned words. Return to the Baking Sands. That one I haven't heard about. I did not. I've never heard of that one. Welcome back, Xavier. I'm reliably informed. The investigation took you to Quarry Mill and Little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of La Habreja? He's a busy little bugger. Pondered the knowledge of summoning an impressionable youth, young mind, you say. Precisely the kind of deception the Asians would employ. While many of the ills and the ale of the land can be attributed to the calamity, some are brought, being brought about by a malign will. I must needs delve deeper into this. While things remain quiet on the primal front, all work and no play makes Memphilia a dull scion. Did you say something? N nothing, my lady. <clears throat> Mayhap we ought to rest a while before speaking further of the investigation.
Philia has another lead for you to pursue. Terror at Falkord. How are you doing, Skippy? I'm doing good. Gotta love water. Funny. While you were tending to business in Thanalan, some new information arrived courtesy of our friends, the Sylphs. An individual fitting Mahabrea's description has been sighted in the North Shroud. This sighting comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the selfsame area. My instincts tell me that our man is involved. My shield by default has like 1300, but I know I have... Now I have a max 1 HP, but that shield has like 12,000-ish capacity. Wow! I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. Well, willing, we will pick up La Habrea's shell once more. Araxia can furnish you with the details. Pray speak with her and take it from there. As always, be careful out there, Xavier. You have nothing to worry about. Double shield capacity and a skill that converts my health into shield. Interesting. Locking one is to investigate sinister one, then heed well this one's words. This one is friends with a walking one in the Ash Crown Consortium. According to Friendly One, a digging one named Medrod had an encounter with a scary masked one. This masked one is most certainly Sinister One. Time to work on Lilac some more. <laughs> you know Jose genre? No, I don't know Jose so the jo genre Jose. Jose so genre. I can't say that. My tongue keeps getting tied. Walking one should go and speak with digging one, Medrod. Digging one is to be found at Falgord Float in the North Shroud.
Ah. Please leave me be. I'm not long for this world. I look, I, I look death in the face. It's only a matter of time before he comes for me, just like he came for that poor woman. Pull yourself together, man. Sounds like it. You're right. It's not as bad as it seems. I saw something terrible, that's true, but that hardly means I'm going to suffer the same fate. I can think straight again. Thanks to you, I can think straight again. I believe I can even recount what I saw without losing it. It's just another ordinary day. I was headed back to the float when I noticed a suspicious character in the distance. A masked man garbed head to toe in black. He had a hideous fiend in tow, a winged creature that was all eyeball and jagged teeth. Taken by curiosity, I crept as near as I dared. To see that corpse of a woman, one glimpse was enough to tell me that she died a gruesome death. And then, instance, I knew right away that the masked man was a, a minion of fall come to claim her soul for his realm. Ah! What, you're investigating this same masked man? If that's the case, we'll help you in whatever way we can. Alright, anything to ensure that we won't have to suffer Medrod's hysteria ever again. Ah, interesting. Alright, teamwork. That's what I wanted to... Wait, I haven't been that bad, have I? At any rate... I'm all for helping this adventurer. It's the least I can do to repay him for comforting me. And all I keep thinking, get over yourself! Let me see if I can't... Uh-oh. Tension, tension. Dean has a proposal to make concerning your investigation. So here's what I knew, know about the deaths. All the victims were fr found with their faces torn to shreds. Among the local fauna, only scale kin known as Ziz could inflict such wounds. 
That's why some folk are pointing the finger at them. I somehow doubt that the answer is that simple. For, for the sake of thoroughness, we should look into it. Why don't you put down, say, three of the creatures and see if you can find any proof connecting them to the death? That's a lot of money. They're up top. I attacked the wrong thing. I'm kind of torn if I actually want to see that. That's the problem that I have right now. I do, but don't. It is Xavier. Okay, Jade, welcome in. Not that you'll hear me. Yeah, you spelt it right. I'm finally getting back to him. even over there. Although that would have been funny. But lilacs further than Xavier. Actually I might be switching back to It is kind of a funny name now, isn't it? Oh no! Poor Jade. I hope you feel better soon, lady. That would be cool. Right? That's because I haven't typed in chat. I know that's why he hasn't noticed me yet. You've already seen to the Ziz? Good work, adventurer. So, were you able to find aught to suggest that the creatures are our culprits? Nothing? Truth be told, even, the, even if there were proof, I wouldn't know what it looked like. Anyway, I believe we can safely strike Ziz from our list of suspects. 
which leaves us with the masked man and his winged eyeball. Everolt has information to share regarding your investigation. There is something you should know. I have been keeping this to myself, lest I worsen Medrod's paranoia, but I too have witnessed the winged eyeball. I cannot say whether it was coincidence, but my sighting took place precisely the same time as Midrod's. Medrod's. I was heading home after a day of digging when I, a shadow fell over me. Looking up, I found myself locked in a gaze with a giant eyeball. I let out a scream at the top of my lungs and ran without a Ran without once looking back. This happened at the rocky area west of here, in case you had a mind to investigate. Aideen has further information of the mysterious dust. There's something else I heard about the dust. It appears all the victims have been comely maidens. I'd better watch myself, eh? <laughs> Unseemly types aside, there's a rumor been going around. There's some as there's some as whisper that after each victim died, her rancor went into the great big rock somewhat southwest of here, causing it to flash and moan. This bears investigating, I reckon. I'm going to give you a fire sound stick to blow off a piece of the crag. The stick doesn't come with a fuse or anything, so you'll have to throw the thing once you've torn the rock a new one. Bring back some of the fragments. I'll give it them a gander. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Dragoon. And then... Okay, I have to ask those that have seen him and have gotten to know him. If you were to pick a tank class for Xenos, what would you pick? Although I am tempted to give him Paladin, much like his mother. I do a lot with Paladin, so I'm kind of tempted to not. Dark Knight? Okay. Actually, I kind of have to agree with that. I kind of saw something about that. a good one. <laughs> the 
so I went to go drive around trying to find where I'm supposed to be for the uh, next mi uh, quest spot. And I drove off a cliff after being targeted by a Ziz and died. That was brilliant of me. Oh, that was funny. That was a good one. It was an accident, but it was a good one. Oh, that felt better. Most folks are too scared to go within a hundred yoms of the Rock of Rancor. Aye, it has a name. But what's a few vengeful spirits to a dauntless adventurer like you, eh? Uh, why these are just your garden variety crystals? It's a bit hard to tell beneath all the dirt and grime, but they are definitely lightning aspected. I almost hate to say it, but that explains the flashing and moaning. Nothing to do with the masked stranger. Looks like I've gone and wasted both your time and your perfectly good fire, a perfectly good fire sound stick. Oh well. Monstrous banmite, banemite appeared, and you slew it. The creature has long been a scourge upon the folk of Falgord. Intentional or no, you have done us a great service. You have my gratitude. But this does make me wonder, was it truly a winged eyeball I saw, or merely a trick of the light combined with a blind panic? Medrod is troubled by the death of a new development, de dearth of new developments in the murder investigation. Uh, 
There have been no promising leads in the murders. I can scarce get a wink's sleep knowing the killer that the killer is still at large. Judging by your furrowed brows, I take it this sorry business to troubles you as much as it does me. I've been pondering my encounter. I was uncertain of for a time, but there can be no doubt. It was a winged eyeball that I witnessed. It's impossible that I, I could have mistaken so distinct a creature for a bane mite. By you and I, but you and I were moms apart. How could we have been both seen it at the precisely the same time? What's more, our adventure friend here had a run-in with the bane mite at the very spot you claimed to see the fiendish eyeball. Is that right? There must be an explanation. I know I saw an eyeball with wings. I would wager an apple tart on it. Oh, he's serious. But listen, mayhap it's not as mysterious as we're making it out to be. There's no reason why there couldn't be... <gasps> Gods, of course! There must be more than one of the buggers. Ugh, it's so obvious. But then that means... Since there have been repeated sightings of these fiends, then there must be even more victims as yet undiscovered. Mm. I do believe we're out of our depth. We ought to leave the rest to the experts. Yes, we're just civilians after all. Good luck, adventurer. It was a pleasure knowing you. While I burn to know the truth, some things are best left unknown. Lest you have forgotten, it was at the rocky area to the west that I had my encounter. Should you discover aught of note, you will want to alert the authorities. There are there is a guard house nearby. The serpents there should be pleased for any information that pertains to the security of the region. I quit doing that. That would be marvelous, don't you think? Ben Rams! Thank you so much for the win raid! Welcome in, everybody! Oh my gosh! Puff Puff, Shady K, Ibons! Welcome in, everybody! <laughs> Lydia, welcome in! How are you all? <laughs> I was not expecting this. Welcome in. Love you all. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Everybody, so much. Thank you. Welcome in. I am Sierra or C, whichever you prefer. Blame zombie. Okay, I will. <laughs> Calzix, welcome in. I take responsibility for. <laughs> How is everybody? <laughs> We're just doing a little bit of a uh, playthrough again on an old play that I had. Uh, Xavier. Sierra Mist, oh my god. <laughs> Twilly. Twilly, come on now. You could do better than that. <laughs> Although that is a good soda. <laughs> I haven't had Sierra Mist in age, now that I think about it. I know, right? I'm willingly going through ARR again. Actually, technically, I'm going to be doing it three times. Um, third one, I actually might just skip to Heaven's Word, just because, no. 
<laughs> Nobody loves doing ARR a million and a half times. I haven't had ginger ale in a while either, now that I think about it. I try to avoid soda as much as possible. Just because soda. Especially since I'm trying to lose weight, soda's not necessarily the best thing for you. But yes, currently I'm doing ARR again. Aha. I've thought about skipping a couple of times. Especially now that I've done it. Ah! Oops. I didn't dodge that. killed it before. Bianca Lumina. Lumina. Ah! All the Bane Mites. So how did stream go, Ben? Right. How was your stream? What were you up to? What were you playing also? Since none of my, uh... That's good. None of my mods are on right now. And I'm not exactly in a... Dungeon right now. Oo-woo. <laughs> Oo-woo. There's your free oo <laughs> That's a good one. I want to go do you for scene again, but I can't because I accidentally picked up shoes that I didn't want. So I have to wait till Tuesday. That's awesome. Guitars are always fun. I wish I could play. No, the only t uh, instrument I play is I sing on occasion and I'm out of tune. So, there's that. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. Is there aught I might assist you with? Here. Gods be good. Not again. Yeah, I, I like singing. I've always loved singing. I'm... I won't say I'm the worst, but I'm not exactly always on in tune. No matter how many bodies I see, I cannot seem to get used to the horrid sight. Poor woman. Identical deaths have been reported in the central shroud, while the masked stranger you seek does not seem to feature in any sightings of the winged eyeball are common enough. The creature appears to be moving the bodies, but to what end, none can say. Uh, links won't work because that's about one of the few things that I will not remove. I would say send it to one of my mods, but my mods aren't in here, so you could probably DM it to me though, Twilly, if you're in my, uh, Discord. Or even in, uh... Ash's Discord. I should be on there, too. Well, Ash was in here earlier, but he hasn't popped back up again. <laughs> I will say that. The victims have all been young women. Oh, there we go. Aww, that's so cute. Dogs are how people would be if the important stuff is all that mattered to this. Oh, that's so cute. Here you go, guys. It's adorable. I love it. Oh, 
All are found with their faces mutilated beyond recognition. It's been difficult to identify them, so as to notify their next of... Hmm. This button, engraved with a, li a lily motif. The very same object was found upon another victim. A family sigil of that I'm an organization, perhaps? Either way, I dare to hope that this find will prove pivotal in solving the murders. If the mayor wants you to hold on to the button. I would have you hold on to the button. You will need it to continue your, your investigation. While it is, it isn't standard procedure to entrust key evidence to individuals, you have proven yourself reliable and resourceful in this matter. I see no reason why you shouldn't carry on your, your work. If I might make a suggestion, you may wish to s take the button to Gridania and have it examined by Mion. Mayhaps someone in her vast network of contacts can shed light upon its sigil. To Gadania. So were you just playing the guitar? Oh, wait, I saw that from my shout out. You were playing. What were you doing? Oh, you said you did uh, you for Sin and Aglaia. Did you do anything else or just those two? Ben? If you're still here. Ha! Tax, uh oh. Ah, fair enough. I know sometimes it can get pretty busy and hectic to get those cues going depending on where you're at. Happy McSlappy? <laughs> I love that name. <gasps> Sato! Love it. Wrong spot. No THX. Oh no. <laughs> the wrong direction. Uh oh. Between the two, subway. Ah, already, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Hi. Well, it's been forever since you played it. Played him. Fair enough. Arietta. Arina. I can't say that. I'm sorry for butchering your name. I really am. Good morrow to you, Xavier. By your grim expression, I suspect you aren't here for scones and herb tea. Well, isn't this a lovely little button? The engraving is quite exquisite. Artisan level and quality. I would say. Where did you say you found this? On a dead body. Lovely. Anyway, I'm afraid I do not recognize the Lily Sigil. You will have to find the answer the old-fashioned way by asking around. You could do worse than beginning with Bernadette over by the Etherite Plaza. She has a sharp eye, a sharp pair of eyes, that one. tracking down the owner of a button. That's certainly not a request I receive on a regular basis. Well, go on then. Show me what you have. Job tomorrow, so my streaming availability is about to shift around the, the clock, so I'm trying to see how things go with an earlier stream by my standards. I feel that. 
I really do, and I'm starting to think that it's not working out quite the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I was hoping, but life keeps saying that I'm going to start around roughly, fairly close to where I started before. <laughs> but that's okay. It happens. I'm going to keep at it for as long as I can, but then I might switch back. Unless, of course, something changes. Exactly, I do what I can. You gotta do what you gotta do. Bills need to be paid. So on and so forth. Hmm. Seems to be some manner of decorative button reminiscent of those worn by the families of old. So I cannot claim to know this its sigil, however. I can say with a certainty that the white lily is a recurring theme in Gradania culture. Alas, I do not know who would make a personal sigil of it. If there is a soul in Gradania who does, it would be singled over by Athelancer's Guild. The woman makes a point of knowing all the citizens on a forename basis. Exactly. That's pretty much the short and long of it. I love streaming and it's fun for me. I love hanging out with everybody. But I gotta do what I gotta do. It's kind of why as much as I'm loving streaming earlier, I'm kind of thinking I might go back to what I was. Uh oh. How did you get an error on squat? Also, what? Were you redeeming the squats? <laughs> Uh-oh. Us, uh, evil dead, right, said. Ah, pet cat. Wait, is there a kitty around here? Kitty. Ow. Kitty, where'd you go? Is there a kitty under there? No. My kitties are hiding right now. I'm tempted to get a picture of the cat and have the handing mo and the uh, hand show up there. Take a page out of other streamers books. Actually, if I can do that, I get a picture of both of them and then I can say pet, pet whichever one you want. <laughs> That might be worthwhile. Actually, I'm gonna step away for just a second. I'll be right back and I will also do the pet cat. One second, be right back.
And I'm back. And Kitty has been petted. He was upstairs. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Skippy. You're good. You're really good. Alright. And Bernadette believes that I can help you. Well, that is a rather bold assumption to make. I will try to assist, never you fear, but whether aught comes of it is another matter. Now then, what do you require of me? Fascinating work of this quality is rarely seen in the hands of an ordinary Gridanians. The owner of this button most certainly well is most certainly well to do. You may wish to take your search to Gentry's ward northwest of here. Wait, a memory comes to me of late. There has been a man who is perpetually seated at the bench by the ward's entrance. His name is Ursandel, and I distinctly recall seeing a markedly similar button upon the breast of his jacket. I dare say he can tell you a thing or two about it. Okay, have to ask, genuinely, who's ready to go to Hawk Manor with me for the first time on this character? Sure? I do not believe we are acquainted. Hey, leave me to my thoughts. <laughs> Fair. <gasps> the sigil of the Darkanto Dartancor's family. How how is it that you came to be in possession of this button? From the body of a murdered woman, her face was was it marred in any way? I had feared as much. <sighs> I can no longer fang it ignorance. I shall reveal to you the truth of the deaths. But on one condition, you promise to put an end to my lady's madness and free her from her torments. Ursandel has a confession to make regarding the mysterious murders. The mystery is about to be solved. Right? I was once a manservant in the employ of one of the oldest and proudest families in Gardania, Dartencors. During that time, I had the honor of wa waiting upon Lady Amandine, Mandine, mistress of the household. Fair as summer was she, and possessed of a heart befitting her radiance. Alas, the calamity wrought a great change in her. Though my lady escaped with her life, death may well have been kind, a kinder fate. Never will I forget the day her bandages were removed and she beheld her disfigured face for the first time. At that moment, the kindly woman I knew ceased to be. Unable to bear the thought of being seen, my lady sequestered herself within her chambers and refused all company. This continued for many un many uneasy moons, until one day, without warning, she began receiving queer guests. None among us knew whence they came, these masked men, but my lady believed that they would help her to regain that which she had lost. So began the rite of rejuvenation. These rituals seemed innocent enough in the beginning, but grew ever more grotesque as time went. Eventually, there came a day when my lady bound one of her handmaidens to her bed and proceeded to mutilate the poor girl's face. Suffice to say, she did not survive the ordeal. It fell to me to dispose of her body. I performed the dreadful task as bade, obedient servant that I was, but when the time came to return to the house, my legs refused to move. I knew then that I could not go back to the place. 
Not after the nightmare I had witnessed. So it was that I left Hawk Manor. My home for nigh on half a century. How long did I weep for the girl who was slain? Longer and longer still for the woman that Lady Amandine had been. Yet one cannot weep forever. I endeavored to put the matter behind me. Indeed, I had resolved never to speak of my experience until you appeared before me. My lady's madness must be ended, lest more innocent lives be lost. Lay her tormented soul to rest as you swore to me you would. She awaits you at Hawk Manor, on the western edge of the central shroud. Go now. Go and do what must be done. Oh, blue badger isn't this? No, this isn't blue badger. This isn't the right one anyway. I don't think I can exit that way anyway. Now I think about it. <laughs> there is no exit. Alt the thorn. Wait. One of three, really? There's usually one over this way. One more to go kill. I feel like I'm a little bit OP on this part. Just a tad. Maybe a little. Around the rock, not through the rock. Although through the rock sounds more fun. Only a wee bit. You're the one. You're the one. I'm gonna have that phrase specifically stuck in my head probably for hours now. Almost! Not quite. I know. 
Actually, I am thinking I might skip ARR for Fordola. I may just do that. Nope, not that way. You're the one for me. Hello, Skippy. I see a Skippy. I haven't made it through Heaven's Word a second time yet. I'm telling the truth, uh, Lane was one I skipped everything on. I made it through on C, my main. And my bun girl, I skipped everything on. I skipped straight to, uh, Shadowbringers. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't made it through Heaven's Word a second time. My ah raw just made it to heaven's word. And one of my characters that I had skipped everything on, I deleted. Alright, let's get this going, because primal is one that's kind of busy. Unless other people want to join. My alt is level zero, as in you haven't made an alt. Hawk Mana. Welcome to the Manor of Nightmares. Is that three cat people and one aura? Yes. is going to town. Full send. Oh, you missed it last night, Ash. You would have been so happy with all the deaths that we had last night.
Eh. Pull it all. <laughs> Skippy, for some odd reason, I thought that was a mob, but behind us, not you. I'm kind of curious if that would work. Probably not. that goes off. Can we just do that? Oh, um, I was thinking I could use my jump to get down from there and land safely. I don't think it would work because I think it's too far out of range, <laughs> but it'd be cool. <laughs> Now I want to test that theory. Yeah, over the railing. I think it's too far out of range, so it wouldn't work because you're they're too far below you vertically but that'd be cool it's kind of what I thought it wouldn't work
I think they're trying to let us remember to do it on occasion, but he's not saying it. He or she is not saying anything. Because I know some DPS can do it too. Like, I have one, I just haven't been using it because Lake Sweep is an interrupt. Yeah. I bet. Also feels kind of weird having to do doing this particular fight without the light. Agreed. The jig was up with that, <laughs> with the take. I'm pretty sure, sure you guys aren't new. <laughs> no, not really. Uh -huh. Darkness has taken root within these walls. And sprung from the most unlikely of seeds. One cannot help but admire the irrepressible spirit that quickened it to life. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, adventurer. You are the every bit as intriguing as our master gave us to believe. It is no ordinary mortal who can acquire one crystal of light, much less three. <laughs> oh 
no! Ash, you're mean. The crystals make you stronger. Strong, and it is to that strength that light is drawn. Heidelin chose well. So you can get your troll out? A pity that your existence is irreconcilable with our own. We cannot al well allow you to continue upon your present course. Alas, we came here not to play, but to make the measure, take the measure of your strength for Master Laha Brea. That task now accomplished, we take our leave of you. Awesome. Fare you well, bringer of light. Escape Miss Iconoclast. I like that name. Okay, back to Gridania Ico. I got a player comp for that. <laughs> Pretty certain that that's a bot. Uncrowned one. <laughs> I like that. You all returned. What sights awaited you within the manor? What has become of Lady Amandine? You must tell me all. There you go. So, she went so far as to consort with devils. Would that I could have done more to prevent her fall. May she finally find peace in the beyond. I know not whether the masked men you encountered are the same pair that first led my lady astray, but it is plain that they are of the same vile brood. Should the chance ever present itself, promise me that you will visit upon them tenfold the woe they have brought upon others. But who am I to speak of punishment? By my silence, I allowed I know not how many innocent young women to die in unspeakable circumstances. It matters not wherefore, through misplaced loyalty, cowardice, or both. I am a, an, I am an abater of, to a gross crime. I will surrender myself to the authorities and accept whatever punishment they deem just. I only pray that the gods will have mercy upon my soul. I feel kind of bad for that guy. I mean, I agree with him, but I still kind of feel bad. He wanted to do right by his lady. Right. I mean, even if the judge, uh, even if those who would weigh his punishment have some form of mercy, the torment of his own head will be punishment. Overlord logic, only mercy is death, right? 
Uh, oh. Pray return to the waking sands. If only I could eat shrimp. Actually, if only I had a um, taste for shrimp and seafood. I kind of lost that ages ago. I don't remember if this one's voiced or not. Welcome back, Xavier. Full glad am I to see you safely return. Tell me, how fared you on your sojourn in the Twelveswood? Kind of both. I'm allergic to shrimp, but I'm... A while ago, I thought had a scare where I had some salmon spread that was over a bagel and it was a small piece and my throat started to swell up. I had an anaphylactic reaction, but it was a mild one. And I thought I was allergic to seafood in general. So I just stayed away from seafood and lost all taste for it. It had been years that I had thought that, so it's just like, I'm not going to touch it. I'll find another way to get the stuff I need. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just stay away from it, and since then I just don't eat seafood hardly ever. I can, I just don't. Two of La Habrea's minions, and they sought to measure your strength by their own admission. The devils taunt us. It is beyond doubt, then. The Asians have begun to move in earnest. Would that we knew to what end. Yet I will not bemoan our plight. Thanks to your tireless efforts, we are at least aware of the encroaching darkness. Alas, we can only do so much. It is clear to me now that we Scions are too few to protect the realm against the, this threat unaided. We must needs alert the three nations to, this, to the presence of this elusive enemy and recommend that they heighten their vigil. There is no shortage of misery in the world that the Asians might exploit. We have an arduous struggle ahead of us. Hmm. Yet come what may, we must not allow ourselves to become lost to hope. For that is precisely what the enemy desires. We got to a point where I can't eat the microwave meals anymore. Like everything about them makes me gag now. So I'm pretty much forced to eat food that I cook or starve at work. Fair enough. Yep, yeah, queen milkers. We have gleaned all we can from the information available to us. Let us set this investigation aside for the present. Another matter has arisen that requires your attention. Let me know when you are ready to be briefed, and I will summon the others. I think this one is actually voiced. Level 35! Actually, I will go do that really quick. No! Purpose. No. Hmm. 
I wanna fly! I wanna fly! I can't wait. I need to remember to start doing meal prep stuff. You cook a lot of rice. Sir Albrecht would have you undertake a trial. It is pleasing to see how readily the dragoon dragon stirs within you. You show great potential, Xavier. A potential that may well prove the difference between victory and defeat. Fair. Isinia is no ordinary dragoon, even when set against the legendary azures of age pa ages past. Matt is considered second to none, such as his prowess. In fact, that the day he was chosen by the eye, it was proclaimed that Haldreth the dragon's eye had been reborn. I mean not to disparage your skills, Xavier, but to pursue Estinian in your current state would be tantamount to suicide. As promised, I shall train you in the way of the Dragoon, that you might face Estinian as an equal. Before we commence, however, it is only fitting that you are edified regarding our origins. It's all, it all began a millennium past. When our forebears resided in the south southern plains in humble circumstances, the Fury, impressed by the spirit of our ancestors, decided it was the meat that she make them her own. So did she appear before Haldra's sire, a man of courage and integrity named Thorden, and bade him lead her people to the Promised Land, to what would become the great nation of Ishgard. The journey brought them to a wide chasm, whereupon Thorden and his people set up to build a bridge. It was then that a dark shadow descended upon them, the great worm Nidhogg. With heedless of his own safety, Thorden fearlessly, fearlessly charged at the colossal beast. Alas, he was pushed into the chasm by one of his own, a man seduced by the worm, and fell to his death. Taking up his slain sire's lance, Haldreth hurled himself at Nidhogg even as tears streamed down his face. The confrontation ended when the young man, has, young man his hand guided by Halone, landed a mighty thrust that prized out Nidhogg's eye. With a terrible roar of pain, the great worm took wing and fled while jubilation reigned below. Ishgard's priceless relic is none other than the eye that taken from Nidhogg that day. It is a veritable wellspring of dragon power. Even so removed from its owner, it can avert, exert control over the hearts of men. Haldreff himself felt this malign influence, but his love of justice broke. No corruption, and he prevailed over the power, claiming it for his own. And so it was that the first Azure Dragoon was born. Okay, I missed some stuff. Uh, so rice is always in the house. I wish I lived in, uh, to some degree, I wish I lived in an area where Sam's was. I have Costco. <laughs> but $200 does get us a lot, but we also have Winco, which is pretty cheap. 
being derived from our foe, the power of the dragon is the, a thing to be loathed. But as Haldreth proved to us all, so long as our hearts burn with justice, we need not fear being taken in its thrall. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, but what is justice precisely? Justice assumes many shapes and forms, Xavier, and none can say that one is greater than another. So long as you hold fast to your beliefs, stay true to yourself, you leave no room for the power of the dragon to master you. But enough of history. Let us return our attention to the present. A knight by the name of Sir Bruce Mont will see the to the next stage of your training. Seek him out at Witch Drop. Wait. Costco does. Or at least last I knew they did. I have a friend who used to use his EBT. Might be location based. Mario reference. Ha! Forward and back, and then forward and back. And one foot forward. Oh, that's right, he's down there. So the adventurer seeks to become a dragoon. Ha! Sir Albrecht speaks of legends and chosen ones, but I would see you prove yourself in a more practical fashion. With your lance, defend yourself! God. No, I didn't want two of you. Right. You have some skill, I would give you that. And the glow of your soul crystal, perhaps Sir Albrecht was not wrong about you, after all. 
Now return to him. Your training here is complete. I didn't think I had forgotten this chugabo keep, but apparently I did. <laughs> Pondo is always hungry. We know this. The soul of the dragon grows ever stronger within you, Xavier. Clearly your trial was a rousing success. I need only observe your crystal to know as much. Yes, though you have only just begun to walk the path of the dragoon, it is clear you possess the talent to become a Sidian's equal. Go forth and make the powers you have attain your own. When the time is right, we shall proceed with your training. Yay, I can jump backwards. Right. Luckily, I have the motorcycle. Uh-oh. One second, folks. No, it's actually faster. Yep, it starts with ma max speed. Yeah, the Fenrir from Final Fantasy VII starts out with max speed. Effectively fastest bike in the game. Or fastest mount in the game. Yep. It's worth the money. I don't think the car does. I 
Actually, I think uh, the regalia is one of the slower ones. Wait, the winged horse does? I didn't know that. This guy, right? Yeah, it is actually pretty fast, which actually makes kind of sense considering it has six legs. I can show you the slowest mount in the game so far. Which I also kind of find funny considering Odin's mount was supposed to have six legs. <laughs> he sits crossed arm. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's funny. I remember correctly going into this one. This is voiced. The Maelstrom requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume? Yes. And no, it has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. What sort of peril? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa has reawakened Titan. Our task will be to slay the primal. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the endeavor. They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. Years before the Grand Company's reformation, two primals, Leviathan and Titan, chanced to converge upon the oh sea no, wall, Titan. wreaking I don't know untold how I'm make devastation. It. There, by the grace of the Navigator, were the mercenaries Melvip hired able to fend them off. Yet it did not take long for the beast tribes to regroup, and they summoned their primals once more. Thankfully, their second coming was decidedly short-lived, but that is beside the point. So long as tormented souls will them to exist, the realm will never be rid of primals. 
The Maelstrom has kept a watchful eye upon the beast tribes, and the kobolds in particular, ever since. Which brings us to the matter at hand. Unlike Ifrit, we know scarcely anything of Titan. Unfortunately, the only force known to have bested him, the modestly named Company of Heroes, disbanded five years since, and mercenaries are not in the habit of keeping chronicles. Expect the worst. The Maelstrom's help is of course appreciated, right. <laughs> but even if we had their whole Pretty armada the at our disposal, we could still primal. find ourselves Number overmatched. Six. <laughs> a pity the kobolds lack the gentle sensibilities of the selfs. A peaceful resolution would be more than welcome. The Echo will not avail you this time, I fear. If you are to survive, your steel must needs speak for you. No one would think you a coward were you to decline. So you will accept? Thank you. We can't very well send him to Limsa Lominsa without your stola, can we, Minfilia? May I ask that of you, Yastola? I never thought it in question. Ever reliable. Very well. We will spare no effort to win victory. You may count on the full support of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And all not a field will aid the fight from afar. Thancred, Ida, go to the Grand Companies. Tell them of our plight and solicit their support. Ariange, send word to the students of Baldessian and Alfino, if you would. Papalimo, compile all the information we have on Titan, little though it may be. You will be apprised of the tactical situation when you reach the Sailor's Ward. Provision yourself for the journey. I'm seriously wishing. May you walk in the light of the crystal. I could get a hairstyle that was more similar to uh, Xenos's for Xavier. I got as close as I could, Makote wise, but. Yeah, he does. I was almost tempted to give him his father's eyes, too, but I kind of did a hybrid on that one. Also, it's not quite his father's hair color. Pretty close, though. Wait. Oh, that one. But it was also the only hairstyle I could find that would actually, that actually had something to help me cover uh, what, where his third eye would be.
Hey, hello, adventurer, and welcome to, the, to Maelstrom Command. If you wish to know more about enlisting, oh, and this you are the guest we are were told to expect. Ah, uh, um, <clears throat> forgive me, sir. It's business then, right? Just say he uses magic to hide it. Fair. The Cobalts have once again summoned Titan. A little over a moon ago, we began to observe the Beastmen moving south in increasing numbers from Okomoro. Our scouts subsequently confirmed the subject of their aggression. Crystals, fodder for the fell primal. Thank you, High Commander. You may leave the rest to me. Word has spread of your accomplishments, Xavier. On behalf of Limsa Lominsa, I thank you for heeding our call. Forgive the lack of forewarning, High Commander. The Admiral wished to address Xavier personally. We are no strangers to conflict. Long have the Sahagin and the Kobolds plagued our people. Nor is this the first time we have had to address a primal threat. In the past, when Titan rose to threaten the peace, it was the, to the company of heroes we turned. But they are long disbanded. We must look to other brave souls blessed with the strength to face their, this foe. So it is that we turn now to the scions of the seventh dawn. Confident in the belief that you are Limsa's best hope. I hope you are right. Yet the situation is far from that from simple. The kobolds are not prone to unprovoked aggression. Did not the the lack the lassacre, I can't say that word. Alasocracy. <laughs> I can't for whatever reason my words are not working right now. Make a pact that with the beastmen that each would keep to their own lands, that no blood would be shed. And it was, was it not the Lemonsons who violated this agreement, dissatisfied with their lot? Shall we then condemn the beast tribes for defending their homes? Even a pirate must one day reap what she sows. I would advise you to choose your words with greater care, Lady Stola. Stand down, High Commander. She has the right of it. And the wrong is mine. Freely do I claim it, yet it makes little difference. Remorse will not shield us from Titan's wrath. Or would you have us fall upon our swords? My apologies, Admiral. The safety and security of Lin Solomon's citizenry are, of course, of paramount concern. Already we have observed disruptions in the flow of ether further inland. The effects will be felt here in the city ere long. I ask much of you, I know, but the need is great. Can I count on your help, Xavier? Mm -hmm. You have my thanks, along with the full support of the Maelstrom. I await good tidings. That the Kobolds should summon Titan demonstrates they are no longer amendable to negotiation. This being the case, we must needs prepare for conflict. Before we meet Titan in the field, however, I, it would be wise to learn all we can of our foe, and I can think of no better source of information than the mercenaries who defeated him once before. The company of heroes may be no more, but several of, their fo of its former members still live. It is said that one of them is employed at the Grey Fleet Mills in Lower Lenoska. Quite why a mercenary should choose to become a miller, I don't do not know. When you find him, mayhap you could ask him for me. I meanwhile shall seek his fellows.
Women lover? Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay. Actually. Mm, I like the long hair for him. Oh. Really? Wait, I don't have. Okay. Apparently, didn't attune to anything outside of Limpsa. I forgot this. I'm gonna go down south so I can get that one. Apparently, I'm a dork. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I forgot to attune. Which is really sad because you come over here for, uh, Sasha, and then I forgot. More Ravy Dry Dogs. There's that too. I know before you didn't have a choice but to take the fairies and all that. I've heard that from many a player who used to play in 1.x and before they did the etherite again. Yeah, before they did the etherites, you had to use them, didn't you? And the chocobo keeps. That was your only way to get around. I thought you used to play in the old game, Skippy. Oh, mid to end of Heaven's Word. person's name. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. One sec.
Alright. Lay down your burdens, son, and come drain a pint with me. We'll have a grand old time. Find ye a lass or three. You gonna say something, Venture? Or just keep staring, eh? Ye want to know about the company of arrows? All hell's price of bleeding fame. Can't a miller mill in peace it no more? Still seeing as ye've come all this way. I suppose it would hurt, wouldn't hurt to oblige ye. Consider yourself lucky, mate. Old Taktom was the company's best axeman. Now, what was it ye wanted to know? Okay, while I'm doing this. Turn back off. Suppose. Turn you back on. Touch Tom. Touch Tom is eager to regale you with stories of his glory days. Oh, nice! Let me get this done and I'll help you in the manor. <laughs> so you want to hear the tale of how the company of heroes the best at a primal, do ye? Let me guess. You mean the bastard Titus, I? Oh, if you'll, if only you'd been there to see it. Twas a mighty struggle, like the legends of old. Me and the boys fought him for three days and nights. We did. The ground trembled with every step Titus took, and he, when he hit ye, boy, it felt like a cannonball to the gut. Ooh. Just like that. Oi, what's that look for? I'm a god's damn hero. I'll have you know, the people around here sing me praises. Don't tell me you only care about learning the secret tactics we use that to beat old Titus. <laughs> well, too bad, because now I'm not feeling charitable. If you're so damn desperate, then why don't you do me a favor and kill those rats that have, been, uh, m that have made a nest by the windmill just south of here? I do that, and then we'll talk. Dude, you're a liar. We already know this. King. I killed the king of the rats. You know what? Beasties are dead, are they? Nice work, adventurer. Saved me the hassle of ah, never mind. What? You still asking about how we beat Titus? I don't know, adventurer. It was a pretty risky strategy, the kind only a veteran of ten scores but ten score battles could rely upon. I want to teach ye. I truly do, but unless ye prove ye have what it takes to face the fat, that fast bastard, I can't in good conscience tell you a damn thing. 
At the very least, you'd need to be capable of slaying a, say, a gubu? Come to think of it, that ain't a bad idea. Them creatures have a taste for the flower, flower milled here, so you ought to have no trouble finding that one in the vicinity. Of course, I ain't asking you to cut one down quick as a skilled axeman like myself. Any road, why don't you ha try heading due west and stand, stand and look out in case a gubu comes calling. Slay, and I might consider telling ye more about old Titus. Right, he is a bad actor. Thank you. Have a good night, Ben. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for the raid. Everybody, s <laughs> send him the sleep emote. Those that can. Spam that sleep emote. That is an achievement. Also, also, welcome in, Alex. How are you? I have missed you, heart. Have a good night. Sleep well, Ben. And hearts for you, too. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sun a sub to Chris, to Jason, to another broken world. Who else was in that? Dragon's Nest. Oh, and Ecom! <laughs> I thought Ecom would have gotten it already. <laughs> Thank you so much! Also, hi Alex! Aww. I knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you around, Ben. Also, Kalzix, thank you so much for recommending him to come here. <laughs> and Pondo's having a heyday. Yes, I do. <laughs> Emotes are a must. I need more. All right, everybody, give uh, Ben some hearts. Also, that is an adorable one. I love that drag. That one. It's so cute. The kitty in the cup. A disease. It's adorable. Rentaro. Ooh, I like that name. Why do I recognize Rentaro? That name sounds so familiar to me. Eh, you again. Then that gubu that was harassing the Millers is dead. Didn't think you had it in ye, adventure. Still, you took forever and a day to get that job done. I'm still not sure if I should tell you our secret. You're a terrible liar, dude. Oh. So, uh, as I was saying, I still don't know if ye you've got what it takes to face Titus. Maybe if you slew a... Chachdom! 
You in here drinking again? If you are, that Gubu had better be dead. Oh, it's dead, Chief. You have my word on that. Cleave the best beast skull in two with me trusty axe I did. Is that a fact? And what will your friend here say if I ask him? He, he'll vouch for me, of course. Ain't that right, friend? Tell me true, was it Chachtom who slew that gubu, or was it you? Chief, what are you saying? It's me, Chachtom, the finest axeman ever to serve in the company of heroes, the legendary mercenaries who slew that t bastard Titus. Titus? Titus? Who in the seven hells is Titus? Some primal you fought in a drink, drink sodden dream? The company of heroes slew Titan. You bloody half-wit. I, I, well, see, Titus was what me and the lads used to call him. That's the biggest load of Sahagan shite I've ever heard. Both of you, outside, we'll learn the truth of the Lamentson way. Tratchtome, if you didn't slay that gubu, you may consider your contract revoked. Bum bum ba dum. <laughs> All right, you know the rules. First man to smash his boulder wins. And don't even think about trying to kill me. That's cheating. Who picked these boulders? They're nothing alike. Ah, oh, the hell's with it. being in the company heroes but I'm begging you chief please don't dismiss me I've learned me menace let me lesson honest I have no you haven't save your blubbering tartrum oh, gods I should have known mercy please I didn't want to deceive ye I swear it's just that I keep getting turned away by all the folk I asked for work and I panicked See, the last job I had was at Costa de Sol, and there was this grizzly old marauder everyone treated like royalty. When I heard he was a captain in the company of heroes, I finally understood why. I was being serious when I said I was one of them, but he went and believed me. I wasn't being serious when I said I was one of them, but he went and believed me, so I... So I... Er... Look, his name was Weskett. All right, Weisket, he'll tell ye how to defeat Titus, or what the ever the hell's the th that thing's name is. That's what I, ye wanted, ain't it? So come on then, tell the chief forgive me, it's only fair. Why not, give him a chance. Oh, that's right. I gotta go the long way to close to Del Sol. The long way now! As I attuned to nothing. <laughs> Oh, 
That means I have to go get Aleport too at some point. Ski. Love it. All right, Alex. How are you? How are you, bro? If you're still there. Pardon, you wish to slay the Lord of Crags? We must slay him, Captain. The people of Limsa Lominsa are depending upon us. <laughs> you fancy yourselves heroes, then, just like in the tales. Be not so quick to judge. Long have I labored for the well-being of you and yours, and my associate here has bathed in Ifrit's hellfire and lived. He is blessed with a power that protects him from the primal influence. Thus, was he able to lay low the Lord of the Inferno. We know full well the risks and have taken every possible precaution. We lack only the knowledge of how to enter Titan's lair. Pray be so good as to grant us the boon of your wisdom, and we shall be on our way. A man who can't be tempered? Useful, but it will not be enough. It is true that the Company of Heroes fought and felled primals, but each victory was bought with the lifeblood of brave men and women. And Titan was the worst we faced. Aye, we defeated him in the end, but we, he took from us some of our very best. Even if you possess the power to, you claim, I have no reason to believe you will succeed. Believe what you will, we mean to try. Though our lives be forfeit, we will not abandon Linsa to the wrath of Titan. You are passionate, I'll grant you that. And you deserved better than the greeting I gave you. But I will not send you into Ogomoro on a whim. To be plain, I do not wish to see you give your lives in vain. At the very least, I must have assurances that you are more than common adventurers. I oversee security for Master Gagaruju's estates. Perhaps you can demonstrate your abilities by attending to one of our... Ye gods, man! Have you heard nothing I have said? We have not the time to perform trivial tasks. The enemy is at the gate. Do you imagine words can sway me, girl? If you dislike my conditions, then you are welcome to find your own way into Ogomoro. Though it pains me to admit it, I fear we have no choice but to acquiesce to the man's demands. Yet such remains to be done. Yet much remains to be done if we are to best Titan. Forgive me, but I must ask you to undertake this task alone. I will use the time to see to the remaining preparations. Leaving the dirty work to others, are we? <laughs> Very well. Pray do whatever the good captain bids, however trifling. Remember, the fate of Limsa Limsa hangs in the balance. My skit would first like to verify that you are not a complete fraud. Master Gagaruju's request can be more demanding than you realize. Before I set you to your true task, I would like to verify that this won't be a waste of my time. And Nyx has recently been seen prowling the beach to the east. As you can imagine, my master does not want large, slimy creatures anywhere near his land. 
The beast is cunning, but you should have no difficulty luring it out with herring. Slay the nix and return to me. Oh, and don't forget to bring me a leg oh, as proof of the kill. Guest. <laughs> well, did you deal with the Nyx? Here's the leg. Here's your proof. Lest you think me overly cautious for testing you in this way, you should know that we had an incident not long ago. A foolish young employee was dismissed for lying about, lying about his past. He claimed to have served in the company of heroes, but I knew for a fact he did not. Anyway, now that the pointless busy work is finished. I shall give you a challenge as befits your talents. Two highly distinguished individuals are scheduled to visit Costa del Sol in the near fut future, and Master Gekaruju wishes to welcome them in with an elaborate banquet. But while money is no object, not everything, Master Gekaruju desires can be easily purchased. It is to be an extremely exotic feast, and so, Xavier, your mission is to seek out and obtain the rare ingredients our chef requires. Naturally, such fine dining must be accom accompanied with a suitable wine, and by suitable, I mean the very best there is. That, however, can wait for the time being, as I believe you have enough on your plate as it is. It will be a long and arduous journey, but you need not to toil alone. Many of the mercenaries who once served under my command still live, and they will guide you in your quest. For the first ingredient, I would have you travel to the South Shroud and speak with Landonel a at Camp Tranquil. What, do you mean to tell me that you cannot afford to waste time as your associate did? Adventurer, if you have not the endurance to complete this mission, how do you expect me to believe you can outlast the Lord of Crags? Either do it or don't. I have work to do. Wait, did I not attend your camp? Okay. Ah! So many places I didn't attune! This is what I get for not playing him for so long. I forgot where I t attuned and where I didn't. <laughs> Motorcycle. Motorcycle time! And I need to go that way. Wait, I don't think I've been to Camp Tranquil yet. Now that I think about it. Yep. Wait, why is it making me go this way? <laughs> Skippy. Ale drunk duck. 
That is an awesome, awesome name. <laughs> Also, I have to slay deer. More deer. Yeah, I haven't been here yet, I don't think. That's the other reason why I make sure to grab the chocobo keeps, because then I know where I've been and where I haven't. If I've gotten the chocobo keep, I've been there already. Do you require assistance, adventurer? So this is the one who could, who would challenge Titan. I've been expecting you, Xavier. The ingredient you seek is the egg of the giant of a giant adamantois. The method of acquisition should be obvious. You steal it from it, the beast's nest, of course. Simple in theory, but difficult in execution. Most who try die in the attempt. Will I help you get it? Ha! You amuse me. I will not jeopardize my position by opening openly assisting you. From me, you will receive only information. What you do with it is your choice. Let me be clear, this business between you, me, and the captain must remain a secret. See, I don't regret my time spent with the company in the slightest. Traveling the world, meeting interesting people, killing them, it was all jolly good fun. Alas, Gradonians are, by and large, an unforgiving lot. Deto here being a rare exception. I've had to go to great lengths to ensure that I am seen as model citizen. With no taste for drinking, whoring, gambling, and all those other activities I so dearly miss. So understand that if you ruin my little charade by wagging your tongue, I'll fashion a noose with your entrails and hang you from the nearest heaven's pillar. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a perfectly good animal toy egg in a nest to the east of here, just ripe for the taking. Not that I expect you to live long enough to claim it. The mother never strays far from the child, and you will surely be attacked the moment you lay hands upon the egg. There will be other heroes, Xavier. You do not need to challenge Titan. Abandon your quest or your corpse will rot in the swamp. You have so little faith in me. Nice! Oh yeah, one second. Let me get this part done and I'll go help you. Yep, potty mouth junior. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll go over to Hyperion, one second. 
I thought you might have the good sense to leave this place. By your continued presence, I take it you intend to persevere to the bitter end? Here's your egg. <laughs> such bravery, such recklessness. That will serve you well against Titan. Leave the egg with me. I'll see that it gets to the captain. You should make haste to southern Thanalan. In Forgotten Springs, you'll find a man named Odu Noon. He will be your next guide. Safe travels, Xavier. Okay. Time to go back to Gridania real quick. Nope. No, no, no. Wrong spot. Hyperion, okay. Sorry, I saw a message I wanted to respond to really quick. There's an interesting name, and you are... Sussy stuff. Up, up, up we go. Do I need to get those? That'd be a fast way to do it. Yeah, there's another character I've done that I have not completed the logbooks for. I should go through and start completing my logbooks. Just get them out of the way. My challenge logs. Are you gonna go as healer, or are you gonna go as your main tank? Okay. I don't have tank on this character yet. <laughs> Unlike my others, I haven't gotten there. 
Fair enough. Also, Calzix, I wanted to ask you. If you're still here. Fair. Classics. I keep saying that wrong, I think. Valtamont. Rantour. Dahlia Hawthorne. Ah, like it. Let's see how this guy does. Bah! I'm pulling everything and I didn't mean to. all the things I didn't mean to at least he's good natured about it I am such a dork. <laughs> I had not meant to though, I literally did not. <laughs> I pulled all the things, but I didn't mean to.
Oh wait, I don't think we need to go this way. No, we don't. It's the other way. Oh, it actually might. Uh, it gave me the damage for it, but it didn't actually count as me jumping down there. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty good. Luckily, she did not see me. Yeah, I saw that. I think he's having lag issues. Wait, I feel like I'm missing something here. Do I really not have my first AoE? No, I don't. Okay. This person's grabbing more enemies than we need.
Right. Oh my god. And any new player coming in there, you had to tell them that they had to use return. That was fun. Also remember that somewhat the days when you didn't ha get yelled at for saying A equals ads, B equals belly, C equals chains. For doing crystal towers. That's the first time I've seen the Pokeball on him. I got a player come out of that. Timothy, Timothy, huh? You know, am I the only one who's ever wondered what she looked like before all of that madness? She's a weep, right? <laughs> You're not wrong, Twilly. You're not wrong. <laughs> She's a weep. The Pharaoh. Huh. Right? I mean, there's that too. I'm not a 
change of that one either. I am to little Alamigo. Yes. No. Mashed potato. Always mashed potatoes. Uh oh. Not that potato. Never mash lalas. This is where I'd be the smart owl can say, I wonder where that mounts from. Have a good night, Kalzix. Get some good rest. Everybody uh, send Kalzix the sleep emote. Get some good rest. I probably won't be going for much longer, though, either. Have a good stream, also! <laughs> Major booty, oh my god. <laughs> Love people sometimes. Your business adventurer. <laughs> so this is the one wise cat sends me. I haven't the foggiest what he sees in you, and until I do, you will receive no aid from me. Persistent bugger, very well. Let's have a look at you. You've seen your f share of battle, there's no mistaking that. And you do did manage to obtain the adamantois egg. However, that was not more than a display of brute force and blind courage. The noon I once fought also believed that his strength would save him. He was wrong, and now I am noon. Many years ago, I joined the company of heroes to hone my skills instead of challenging my predecessor before I was ready. Even when I was young, I understood that victory goes to the patient, the cunning, and the pragmatic. Right? That is why I claimed my position, and it is why I still hold it, and it is why I will not help an unproven whelp. The children of the sands do not offer aid to strangers. To do so is a sign of weakness. However, if you were recognized as sk a skilled hunter in your own right, it would be permissible to assist you. Across the desert to the east lies an Amalja encampment. There dwells a warrior renowned both for his strength and his guile. 
to even face the Samalja in battle, you must first find a way to lure him away from the encampment. This will be your t test. To draw out and defeat the t veteran. For this, I will offer you no advice. Only the sworn spear. Why, you ask? You will have to solve the riddle yourself. Now go, slay this warrior, and bring me his necklace. Right. Actually, I think Xavier would probably just destroy them. <laughs> I have no patience for your menial tasks. world in danger go do something dumb and waste time why it takes you so long to set down a spear. I keep thinking about it for a second. These guys act like they haven't heard tale about what your character's been doing, but I highly doubt that. I almost guarantee they've heard rumors, at the very least. Right. I mean, you're not the great warrior of light just yet. But it's been spread around, and it's you kind of are. Tell me, adventurer, is our old nemesis dead? Uh, yes. Here's your necklace. A fine necklace, as befits a veteran of countless battles. It will make an excellent trophy. The spear, it belonged to one of his brothers. I knew when he spied it from afar, he would be unable to resist venturing outside the encampment to see it for himself. Did you discern my intent, or was it dumb luck, I wonder? <laughs> Either way. You impress me, adventurer. I shall tell you of the ingredient you seek. A shame we did not meet when I was still with the company of heroes. You would have made a fine recruit. But no point in dwelling on what cannot be. 
You have a Welwick worm to hunt. Sandworms slither bra brazenly across the desert dunes, but Welwick worms are far fewer in number. Rarity pre breeds demand, and so their meat is highly prized for it as a delicacy. The only way to catch your quarry is that to entice it with something it cannot resist. These worms prey on the smaller creatures of Saguli. A freshly slaughtered angler carcass would be my choice of bait. There is an area teeming with anglers to the east. I will mark it on upon your map, along with the location where the Welwick worms are most frequently sighted. Be warned, the blood will drive the worms worm into a feeding frenzy. If your skills are lacking, it will devour you as well. about ready to go do the fun stuff I pa apparently <clears throat> now I've been passing June anglers all over the place our anglers This fog can go away. Apparently. Ah. You look well. Have you caught your quarry then? Your skills as a hunter rival those of our best. I applaud your success, Xavier. The meat will need to be heavily smoked before I ship it to Weisket. Worry not, you have my word that he will receive it in time for the banquet. You must be eager to obtain... The third ingredient. I regret to say that I know not of its location. For the announce, you should return to Coast Deso and seek Weisket's counsel. Ah, but hold a moment. Since you will be meeting the captain again soon, there is something I would like you to deliver to him for me.
The captain was always fond of this brand of wine. I would be grateful if you could deliver it on my behalf. I was a reckless, angry youth when I first joined the company, and he would have been well within his rights to cast me out. Everything I have, I owe to his wisdom and generosity. I, Weiskit, was a firm yet fair teacher, an expert molder of men, and I suspect that this still, this is that it, that it is, that is still the case now. Please give him my regards, Savior. As you wish. I can't talk anymore. I can't cut my tongue. Yes. why that was so hard for me to say a moment ago. Time to go speak the way skip. I think I'm almost going to get the cheese or right. Well met Xavier Lan Landonel and Udo Noon both spoke highly of you. What brings you here today? Your brandy wine. Ah, oh, my favorite. I shall have to thank the noon personally. Now you have but one ingredient left. Fortunately, you will not have to travel to Aldenard this time to obtain it. My skit would like to tell you about the final ingredient needed for the banquet. Truth be told, I never intended for you to collect this last ingredient. Ray Flox, my old quartermaster, wished to bring it to Costa del Sol herself. However, not long ago, she sent word that there's been some trouble at the long stop, and that the delivery would be delayed indefinitely. She told me nothing of the incident her itself. But I fear the situation may be dire. Though I would like nothing more than to aid her myself, I have no choice but to turn to you and your allies. Make haste to Hidden Falls docks and speak to Ozun Nazun. He will direct you to Raincatcher Gully, where Brave Flox and her people have made their home. Yep, time to go get stinky cheese. Goblin cheese.
Actually, if I remember correctly, that's not the final ingredient. I'll go unlock it, but I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow to run it, because I'm tired. And I still have work tomorrow. Yes. We're going to have Monster Hunter Monday tomorrow, though. Yay! What's the hurry, Venturer, eh? Something happened over at the Gobby settlement? I don't know why you're so eager to help a bunch of beastmen, but go and talk to the skipper over yonder. She'll ferry you to ring catcher goalie. Up to ring catcher goalie. Gotta help the gobby flock. Wrong direction. Although I don't plan on, well, although I'm not huge on the idea of uh, leveling it, I am seriously tempted to pick up Samurai for Xavier. Flaps of Weisket be reaching ears of brave flocks. Uplander is coming. Uplander is come for tasty, fresh gobby treats. Yes. Quest prize of Uplander deep in Longstop. Flighty beasts chase gobby flock from homes. Gobby flock needs goodly Uplander give safety to Longstop with much hand lending. We love you, brave flocks. While I am here, I'm going to go grab that. <laughs> Dead thoughts and brain box. If I forget to do that. Do this before I forget. Since I am so close to it. Cannot forget why import. gonna be as far as I go tonight at the very least. So 
So with that being said, who shall we go invade tonight? Who's all on? Um, you know what? We'll go invade Drill Sauce tonight. I haven't raided. Uh, Drill Sauce or Yuki? Let's go to Yuki. I should do Drill Sauce, but I'm gonna do Yuki soon at night. Yuki is playing Samurai Warriors, Spirit of Sonata. Please go give her lots of hugs and hearts. And we will see you tomorrow for Monster Hunter Mondays. We will be playing Monster Hunter. Love you all. Thank you. Take care. We'll talk to you tomorrow.